Congratulations on purchasing your new Polar FT1, and thank you for choosing Polar to help you achieve your goal. This is a quick video that will show you mostly everything you need to know to get started in just a few minutes. For a deeper look into the functionality of the FT1, a complete user manual can be found at www.polarusa.com support. When you open the package for the first time, you will see the RISH unit, transmitter, strap, and user manual. The RISH unit displays your heart rate and other data during training. The transmitter set sends your heart rate signal wirelessly to the RISH unit. The FT1 RISH unit has one button functionality and is really easy to use. Here's how it works. A short press of the button will select a mode, increase a value, decrease a value, and confirm your selection and desired value when OK is displayed. A long button press will return to the time of day display from any mode, activate or deactivate the target heart rate zone alarm in the exercise mode, and activate the backlight in the time display. After activating the backlight, a button press turns the backlight on in any mode. In this video, we will show you how the one button functionality works to set the heart rate zones, start a new exercise, and view the exercise file. One thing to remember, no matter where you are in the menu, pressing and holding the button will return you to the main display. Let's start by setting the target heart rate zone. To calculate the proper target zone for your exercise, please refer to page 3 in your user manual for detailed instructions. Here is how you will set that number in your RISH unit. From the main display, press the button three times until you see zone appear. The first zone setting will be the beep feature, which will signal you if you are outside of your target heart rate zone during the workout. Turn this on or off depending on your preference. When the display flashes on or off, press the button once to select the preferred option. Wait for a few seconds and OK will flash. Press the button again to proceed. Next we will set the high zone. Increase the value by pressing the button when the positive sign is displayed. Decrease the value when the negative sign is displayed. When you find the correct value, wait a few seconds for the OK to appear and press the button to accept. Now let's do the same thing for the low zone. Increase the value by pressing the button when the positive sign is displayed. Decrease the value when the negative sign is displayed. When you find the correct value, wait a few seconds for OK to appear and press the button to accept. The RISH unit will now automatically return you to the main display. Now you are ready to start training. Start by fastening one end of the transmitter to the elastic strap. Adjust the transmitter strap's length to fit snug yet comfortable. Secure the strap around your chest, just below the chest muscles, and fasten the strap to the transmitter. Lift the transmitter off of your chest and moisten the two grooved electrode areas on the back. Check that the wet electrode areas are firmly against your skin and that the text on the transmitter is in an upright position and in the center of your chest. Start recording your training session by pressing the button once. EXE is displayed. The stopwatch starts running in a few seconds. The outline of the heart symbol flashes until your heart rate is detected. This should not take more than 15 seconds. Your heart rate is now displayed. A flashing heart symbol indicates an ongoing heart rate measurement. During the exercise, you can change the display information at any time by bringing the training computer close to the Polar logo on the transmitter. Keep the training computer close to the transmitter until you hear a beep and the desired information is displayed. This feature is called the Heart Touch feature and is found on many Polar products. To stop the recording on your training computer, press the button. Stop will be displayed and the training computer will return to the time of day automatically. 
Your latest exercise remains in the memory of the training computer under File until you record a new training session. The information in the file is then replaced by the current one. The file is protected against accidental starts and only recordings that last more than one minute are saved. From the time display, press the button twice to reach the file menu. Wait a few seconds and the total duration of the exercise is displayed. Press the button and you will now see the average heart rate for this exercise. Press the button again for the maximum heart rate for this exercise. Press the button one more time to see the date this exercise was completed. And when you are finished reviewing the exercise file, press the button to return to the time display. So what are your next steps? First, register your new Polar at PolarUSA.com and sign up for the Polar newsletter. So we can keep improving our products and you can keep up to date with everything Polar. Second, while on PolarUSA.com, also check out the Training with Polar section for resources that will give you the guidance and motivation you need to help you achieve your goal. And third, if you have any questions, remember that we are here to help. Connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, or by clicking on the Support tab on PolarUSA.com. Welcome to the Polar community, and we look forward to being your training partner.